hello dear listeners you are welcome to the platform to the channel today in this uh, channel today and um, the lesson is going to be mainly on forex trading and precisely we are going to discuss that very paramount aspect of uh, forex trading which is candlestick patterns and this actually is for the beginners in forex trading so also some people that have been there but they find it difficult to uh, locate the direction of the markets this video is also suitable for those people so today before we progress we are going to look at the course uh, overview i mean the contents of the course today and here we have them and the lesson we are going to look at the most relevant and frequently used candlestick patterns in forex trading so also different elements of patterns and how to classify them and also names and classification of each pattern logical interpretation of each pattern comparison and connection amongst the patterns available so also is going to be accompanied by uh, chart samples. We are going to be looking at examples from the charts of forex trading. So, the next thing is we want to start it with elements of candlestick patterns. Under these elements, we have two. The first one is complexity, and the second is type. But first, let's look at complexity. Uh, as one of the elements of a candlestick pattern. When we say complexity, this has to do with the number of candlesticks that compose the pattern. There are two forms of this pattern, as we can see, as I'm going to explain thus. The first one, under this complexity, the uh, first of the forms, we have simple patterns. When we say simple patterns, we are referring to the pattern that is formed by only one candlestick. The shape of that one candlestick will be or give the information about what the market is going to do next. I hope this is clear. Good. The second of the forms is complex pattern. Complex pattern refers to the pattern that is formed by two or more candlesticks these candlesticks tell what the market is going to do next as well now after that let's go to uh, the types of uh, the second uh, element of the candlestick that we have available which is type and under this type as well we have what is known to be reversal pattern continuation pattern and uh, neutral pattern what does it mean by reversal pattern this means that when the pattern appears in form of a candlestick or candlesticks the price will reverse its current direction that is the pattern can be bullish or bearish and when we say bullish or bearish, these are the terms that are used in uh, forex trading. Bullish from the word bull. When bull is aggressive towards its prey, it knocks the prey or any animal that comes its way, it knocks it upside. That is why this particular animal is used as a symbolism for uh, the uptrend movement of the market or price from the word bull we have bullish reversal that is when the trend is going down when that particular pattern appears that is called bullish candle it shows or signals that the price will go up immediately after the appearance of the pattern now let's look at the example or chart sample of this particular bullish reversal and the bearish reversal as you can see we have the chart samples of the two here 
So bullish, again, I said, it is when the market is going towards downward or downside. Then there will be uh, a reversal candle that will appear to signal the sellers that this particular market or the price is about to go upside. That is why it is called reversal. So from the sample by the right hand side, you can see the bullish reversal there, which shows red candles down, downward. Then when a particular candle uh, appears, which is armor candle, then it shows or signals that the uh, movement is going to be uptrend. That is why you have the first green candle and the second green candle. That is how it will be going until it reaches its destination. So the second one is bearish reversal pattern. This means that the price will be going up when a pattern appears, that is a candlestick, to signal the price will go down immediately after the appearance of the new pattern. So when you look at the left hand side as well, you will see that we have uptrend. The green candles there, then when it gets to the last green candle that, that looks like a, a hammer with tail shows or signals that the trend will go down. So those are the chart samples of the bullish and the bearish uh, reversal pattern. I hope this is clear. Now let's continue to the next one, which is continuation pattern. Here we have the chart sample of continuation pattern. When we hear continuation pattern, this means that the price will continue to go in its current direction instead of reversing it. This pattern as well can be bullish or bearish. From the chart sample here, you will see that we have downtrend. Looking at the left hand side, we have the red candles moving downward. Then later when it gets to a particular candle there, green like armor, we have another green again, followed by another green again. Then later we have downward movement again. It means the bullish or green candles there, they do not affect the trend of that particular price. So it goes back to downtrend. Later we have the appearance of green candles again. Later, it moves or continues to downtrend. That is why this particular uh, pattern is called continuation pattern. That is, even if we have bullish candle, it will still continue the trend it started. So this is downtrend or continuation pattern. I hope this is clear. And let's move to the third uh, pattern, which is neutral pattern. Neutral pattern indicates a momentary stop in price. That is, there's nothing like bullish or bearish in this case because it remains static. It doesn't show any direction of the price or the market, whether uptrend or downtrend. So looking at the uh, screen, you will see the candles there or let me say the doji family the first one we have it as doji cross so also second one and the third and fourth we have them as doji long leg that is what they are called so these four uh, doji families here you will see that they appears green color and also red color and when you look at uh, the doji cross you will see high that is the eye uh, the peak of the price and also the lower side of the price which means that both the buyers and the sellers none of them won the battle so the price or the movement will remain static at the center that is why you have open and close very close to each other and the green candle doesn't develop any body uh, formation so I hope this is clear that is neutral pattern. <clears throat> the next one is, we want to look at the names and classification of uh, patterns. 
There are many of the candlestick patterns as seen or can be seen on the next page. <clears throat> Here we have the Doji family. And from the screen, you can see the first one by the left. That is Doji cross. Second one, Doji long leg. The third one that has a base at the top. That is called Dragonfly Doji. And the next to it is called Gravestone Doji. It has the bottom or the base after the pressure from up there from the tail. And the last one is Doji Four Price. It is called Four Price because no buyer or no seller won any uh, movement or pressure or battle. So that thing remains like just dash. That is why it is called for a uh, price doji. So after that, we are going to progress to analysis of the candles. That is mentioning their names, looking at them in the charts, how they behave. That is what is uh, very, very paramount and important to any trader. You need to know the behavior of the candlestick after you must have known how to identify them and this is how you'll be able to make profit when you trade so let's look at the candles the first one we have here is called hammer this is called hammer now this hammer is a simple bullish reversal candle and this candle shows that the price will reverse its direction to the upside the shape of the armor has several characteristics that makes it bullish and also it might have small weak at the upper part of it. The shape of the armor shows that at the beginning of the opening of the price or market, the sellers have power and the edge or body of the armor shows that the buyers are able to overpower the sellers. Hammer appears when the price is going down and when it appears immediately the price turns upward. But take note that sometimes the price continues its direction since we don't know how this happens. So sometimes it breaks the rule of the direction it goes that is why we have continuation pattern so looking at the charts you will see that by the uh, left hand side we have a uh, red candle followed by a green candle then down 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 trend until we have the particular candle that looks like armor in the box this candle is what we call armor and precisely bullish armor so this armor shows or whenever it appears, it's a signal to the trader that the price is about to turn upside. So you need to prepare yourself to sell the currency pair or the commodity you have at hand in order to sell the part, I mean to buy the currency uh, currency pair. I hope this is clear. Now let's look at another one. <coughs> This particular uh, candlestick we are, we are, that we are looking at now is called inverted armor. This is a simple reversal pattern as well, just like the bullish armor. This pattern shares the same shape with the hammer, but its body is found at the bottom and its tail or wick up above the body. This is still a bullish pattern and this pattern appears when the price is going down and this changes the direction of the price to be uptrend. That is inverted AMA. So looking at the uh, screen, you will see the chart for the inverted AMA. When we have just very close to the AMA in the box, you see that we have small candle which is red followed by large candle another red another red again before the candle in the box 
The dark candle in the box is just like an armor, but it has longer tail at the top part of the body. So after the appearance of this particular candle, the next thing you notice is uptrend in the price or the market movement. So this is why this is called inverted armor. I hope this is clear. Now next in is a shooting star. This shooting star is a bearish reversal pattern. Shooting star has the same shape and body with the inverted armor, but they have different function or role to play in the price action. The shooting star shows the change in direction of the price that has been uptrend to downwards. The marks, that is the uh, shooting star, marks the end of the bullish pattern, that is the uptrend. So, in shooting star, the upper wick first appears and the seller presses the price downward. As you can see from the chart, that we have uptrend right from the left hand side, not until you get to the arrow where you have shooting star. The arrow points at the tail or the wick of the small bodied green candle, which signals that the sellers are able to press the uh, price right from the top tail back to the down or the bottom of the candle. Then there comes the appearance of the red candle that shows the bearish trend. So this is what is called shooting star. And let's look at another candle again. This next candle is called hanging man. The pattern has the similar shape with the armor. This shows or appears when the price is going up to change its direction to bearish. This pattern as well shows that sellers have a slight power more than the buyers. As you can see from the chart, that we have the uptrend right from the left hand side, not until you get to the armor in circle, where the uh, arrow points at. So when you see the armor, which is called hanging man, it signals that it is time for uptrend. And the meaning or the interpretation of the hanging man is that when you look at the tail right from the bottom, it means from the lower tail of the bottom, the buyers are able, I mean the sellers appear from the opening at the top there and they try to uh, overpower the buyers in order to bring down the price to bearish that is hanging man then the next one again is a uh, bearish and bullish engulfing pattern but i will start with bullish engulfing pattern that is by the left hand side the bullish engulfing pattern is formed by two candles where the first candle is a bit smaller than the second and the second engulfs the first candle. This means that the second candle covers the whole of the first candle. That is what it means. So the interpretation of this is that the buyers have the power to bring in a new bullish candle. This pattern appears when the price is going down to signal reversal upside. So that is bullish engulfing pattern. And when you look at the chart from the uh, left hand side, you will see the downtrend of the price or the market movement. But when it gets to two candles in circle, we have red first and the green second. And when you look at it, you see that the formation of the green candle's body is bigger than the red one. And it covers the whole of the red. Then, after the appearance of that, we have bullish or uptrend movement. That is what is meant by bullish engulfing pattern. The green engulfs the red candle. The next one is a bearish engulfing pattern, which is the opposite of 
the bullish engulfing pattern. And in this case, the pattern shares the same shape as the bullish engulfing pattern. The difference is that the bearish engulfing candle appears when the price is going up to signal its change in direction to bearish or downside. This pattern has red body unlike green in bullish one. The pattern engulfs or covers the small one. So looking at the chart from the right hand side, you discover that we have uptrend right from the left hand side of the uh, chart. Then later, when we get to where the arrow points at, where you have the bearish engulfing, we have a circle there where we have green candle first and the red candle second, unlike the bullish. So it shows here that the red candle covers or engulfs the green candle, which signals the downside or trend of the market or the price. I hope this is clear. Good. The next one is, this pattern is called piercing line. And this is a simple reversal pattern as well that shows the bullish future in the price. That is what is going to happen to the price in the future. This pattern appears in two, that is two candles, where the first candle is bearish and the second is bullish. This second candle, which is bullish, is able to close the gap created by the sellers across the middle of the first candle. That is, this is where the candle gets its uh, name or the pattern gets its name from. This pattern appears when the price is going downward to signal upside of the uptrend in the price. So looking at the chart, you see that we have downtrend right from the left hand side, the red candle diminishing to the smaller one, then later to the last uh, medium body candle, which is red. So the one we have in the, in the box is the green candle. And you can see that we have a cut, a line drawn uh, in between the red and also cut upper part of the green candle. That is why it is called piercing line pattern. So this shows bullish direction whenever this is seen in the forex trading charts. The next one we are going to have here is the dark cloud, the dark cloud pattern. This pattern appears in two candles as well. The second candle is bearish, which opens with a gap up, and this implies the buying power. From its name, the pattern covers the space created by the sellers up and it pierces the upper opening parts of the first bullish candle, which is green candle. So the dark cloud will appear when the price is going up to signal the reversal of the price to the downtrend. Now let's look at the charts. We've been having the mixture of green candle, red candle, right from the left hand side. Not until where you, when you get to the circle. I will see that the two candles up there, the first one is green, followed by the red. And the red covers the green candle, showing the dark part of it, as the name implies. And when you look at it, the upper part of the red candle is able to cover that of uh, the green, which means, according to what I explained, it covers it covers the space created by the sellers. So when you see this particular formation, it shows or signals that it is time for downtrend or the time that the price diminishes. It goes downtrend. So this is the particular pattern. And we are progressing to another candle pattern now, which is a bullish meeting line and the bearish meeting line i'm starting with the bullish meeting line this candle shows 
the power of the buyers to fill in the gap created by the sellers. This is when the second, which is the bullish candle, has the edge of its upper side exactly at the bottom of the first bearish candle. The candle is called meeting line because the closing of the first, which is bearish candle, meets with the closing line of the second bullish candle. Bullish meeting lines appear when the price is going down to show the signal of its reversal to the upside or uptrend. Let's look at the chart now to see what we are discussing. From the bullish, the one at the upper part of the chart, you will see downtrend, the mixture of green and red candle. But when it gets to the bottom, you will see kind of a, a bracket icon to cover the red candle at the upper part and the green candle at the bottom. So when you look at the opening of the red candle at the bottom, and also the opening of the green candle at the bottom, you will discover that they share the same base or level. That is the meeting point of the bottom of the red candle and the upper part of the green. If you are to measure it, you will see that they have the contact at the same base or level. So when you see this kind of formation, it signals uptrend. And when you look at that formation as well, you will see that the next is we have the movement of the market or the price upside. So the next one is bearish, which is the opposite um, uh, candle pattern of uh, the bullish. And this candle is just the opposite, as I said. It appears when the price is going up to show a signal its reversal to bearish or downtrend. So these are the two uh, charts for the explanation. The next one we have is the bullish harami pattern. The bullish harami pattern from the Japanese word or language means pregnancy. This is when the bearish candle appears bigger than the bullish candle. And at the same time, uh, this appears just like a pregnant woman. That is, if you are able to draw a circular line right from the uh, red candle, go around the green candle and back to the red, it will see, I mean, you will see that it forms the shape of a pregnant woman. That is where the name of this particular pattern comes from. And the first candle is bearish, while the second is uh, bullish. The bullish candle is a new candle for uptrend to be born. The pattern appears when the price is going down to signal the uptrend in the price. When you look at the chart, we have downtrend, and when we have the two candles in the box, the red and the green, which shows the uh, covering or engulfing of the uh, green candle by the red. Then after that, we have the trend moving upside. That is uh, what we call bullish arami. Then the next candle is bearish arami, which is the opposite of what I just uh, explained. Here, we are going to have uptrend in the market movement. But when it gets to the arami, it means we are going to have green candle engulfing the red candle and this signals a downtrend of the market movement or the price so let's progress to another candle pattern this time around this is bullish arami cross this pattern forms two candles where the first candle is bearish and the second is a doji cross in green color precisely even though you have black color there but uh, it's usually in green color so this doji cross appears as a sign that the sellers have stopped the advancement of the price to the downside 
to indicate bullish pressure. So looking at the chart, you see precisely what we are talking about. Having the downtrend with gap between the red candles, but when it gets to the doji cross in the box, then we have uptrend in the market price of movement. That is the bullish Arami cross. Then the next one we have here is bullish kicker or bullish kicking pattern. This pattern shows two candles as well. The first candle is bearish, that is in red color, and the second is bullish green color. Where there is a gap between the two candles with opening gap beneath the candles. The name occurs as a result of the gap between the candles as if something is kicked. So this pattern appears when the price is going down and it signals the bullish kicking which shows the uptrend. Looking at the chart, you see an instance of this when we have the red color right from the left hand side showing the downtrend of the price or the market movements. Then later at the bottom there, the last candle which is red, we have a line drawn at the top of the red candle, so also the bottom of the green candle. That is a gap and that is why or where we have the name of the pattern from which is kicked. So it's as if the red candle kicked the uh, green candle upside to show the uptrend in the direction of the market. The next one is a uh, bearish kicker or bearish kicking pattern. This is the opposite of the pattern that has just uh, explained. We have the uptrend here, not until the small uh, body green pattern or candle up there. Then we have a line drawn at the bottom of the candle. So also another line drawn at the uh, top part of the red candle. And you can see the gap between the two candles as it is kicked. And this shows or marks the end of the uptrend. And time now is for downtrend in the market or the price of the currency pair. The next one we have here is... Um, morning star and the evening star they are just like opposites i will start with a morning star this pattern forms three candles with the first as bearish while the second which is the green small body without weak or tail or sometimes with just small tail and the third candle as green uh, the green body is as big as a uh, uh, a medium size as the red one and these three candles are separated by a gap as you can see they're separated by a gap the small body candle confirms a new candle for uptrend we have when you look at the charts we have the red candle same size as the green candle and we have the green small green candle at the base the bottom of the two medium sized candles so it is the small green candle that shows or indicates the uptrend of the price that is why it is called morning star so when you see this kind of a pattern on a forex trading charts it signals to the uh, to the traders that it is time for uptrend in the uh, price action then the next one is um, evening star this is the same three candle patterns as the morning star but the opposite uh, position of it and in appearance this pattern appears when uh, the price is going up and the evening star signals the downtrend of the price as you can see from the uh, chart right at the right hand side there we have the trend uh, pattern but when it gets to the small bodied candle up there which is red color it signals 
or bring about another candle which is a red candle. So this shows the downtrend in the market movement or the price of the currency or the commodity that you are on to. The next one we have here is a um, bullish breakaway. That is the one we have now. Yes. So this particular candle shows uptrend. It shows uptrend in the price or the movement of the market. As you can see, we have the first candle, which is green candle, as big body candle, followed by three green candles. Then next to the three candles uh, comes another candle, which is red color. Then you see two lines drawn. These lines that is drawn shows the breakaway from the bottom of the red candle to the first green candle. Even if you look at the price, I mean the body size of these two candles, the red and the first green, you will see that they share the same body size. So the breakaway in the two, according to its name, is one that signals the downtrend in the price of movement of the market. So that is that pattern. The next one we have is tower bottom and tower top. The tower bottom I will start with. This pattern is a bullish pattern with two bearish candles at first. Then followed by a small green candle which is bullish with a gap up. While the fourth candle is another small bearish body candle. The fifth candle appears to be a big green bullish candle. This pattern gets its name from the shape of the three candles at the middle, which form tower-like shape. And this pattern is usually bullish pattern. Just look at something like bracket icon at the bottom uh, side of the chart up there. You see that the brackets like uh, icon covers five uh, candles. Starting by the left hand side, we have red candle, green candle, red candle, green candle. These three candles are the middle with the first red and the uh, last green covered by this bracket icon. They are the one that form the shape of the tower building. And that is where we have the uh, name from, the name of the pattern from. So whenever you see this particular pattern shown on your chart, it means it's time for bullish trend. And the opposite of it is tower top. As you can see from the chart down there, the opposite of it. Here we are going to have uptrend, not until when you have the five our candlestick uh, patterns there and when this happens the formation shows that it's time for downtrend these are the two the tower bottom and the tower top they have their name from the formation of the shape of the candles you have there next year is we have bullish separating lines and the bearish separating lines the bullish separating line this pattern has two candles where the first medium size is bearish and the second is a green bullish candle i'm talking about uh, bullish separating now there is an opening gap between the two candles as big as the body of the candles this pattern signals the continuation of the trend to upside. So looking at the chart there by the left hand side, you see that we have the start of the candles to be uh, uptrend. But the first thing we have is the color red candle followed by color green candle. And also you can notice a gap there from the red to the green. 
which is also the size of the two candles. And how do you measure that is? Just look at the top or the upper side of the red candle, then rule it, rule a line from there to the green candle, to the top of the green candle. Then when you look at it, you see that the size or the length of this uh, uh, particular gap is the same thing as the size of the two candles. So that is why it is called bullish separating candles. When you see this particular candle, it means it's time for uptrend. I hope this is clear. So the next one is bearish separating line. Just the opposite of the pattern that I just discussed. And this pattern has the same form. Only in this pattern does the bearish candle comes first and with the same gap as found in the previous pattern. So this pattern appears when the price is going down to signal its continuation to the uptrend. That is, if this happens, don't believe or don't have the opinion that it's going to reverse, but it shows what the continuation of the market movement or the price. That is what it means. Then the next we have here is on neck line. The pattern is called on neck and this is a bullish in form. This pattern is formed with a medium sized bullish candle followed by a small bearish candle. And there is usually a gap up between the two candles. The reason to that is because the sellers are unable to close or pressurize the force or power of the buyers. So this pattern appears when the price is going up and it signals the continuation of the uptrend. That is, when you look at the chart here, the move is uptrend. But when you see that particular candle on the screen that is black, it's not black, it is red color. And some people, once you see red, don't believe that that is a downtrend or the stand for downtrend. In this case of the on neck line bullish, it means that it's going to continue. So that black color means that the color that was going to show after it is going to be green color, which is bullish uptrend. I hope this is clear. So the next one is bearish just the opposite of what I just explained. This will continue its formation. The color black you are having here is actually red color and the white there is a green color. But because this shows the green color down there doesn't mean that it's time for uptrend. So don't make the mistake. When you see that, just pay attention and give a confirmation period. That is, wait a bit to see what is going to happen next before you place your order. So this green color that shows down there shows that this trend is going to continue its trend or the market movement. That is the bearish on neck or you call it in neck. Okay. The next one we have here is upside gap Tazuki candlestick. This pattern is formed with a green medium bullish and uh, followed by a small green bullish candle. And lastly, a small bearish candle. The small bullish and bearish candle share the same body size and are positioned same way. This Tazuki pattern signals the continuation of the uptrend. As you can see from the chart, we have the uptrend then later from the third candle by the right which is green and the fourth one which is also green we have a gap there as if the green candle is kicked then the green candle top there and the big that big red candle there you can see where the rose gap it means it cuts across it and when this appears it doesn't mean that when you uh, when the price of the market fluctuates upside or downside don't believe that it's time for downtrend no 
the next thing you can see here is that we have another green color which shows that that price that started to be going downward is going to be bullish later so if you place a order to be sell it means you are going to close it very soon when you see the appearance of the bullish candle as you can see from the chart later it continues the uptrend so this tazuki uh candlestick shows the continuation to uptrend the next one we have here is called a uh, bullish three line strike bullish three line strike by the right hand side and also the bearish three line strike this bullish three line strike is formed with four candles and the uh, first three candles are bullish and are uh, almost of the same body size followed by a big bearish candle the big bearish candle closes at the bottom in the same level of base as the first green bullish candle the pattern appears when there is an exhaustion in the selling pressure which signals the continuation of the buying uptrend so when you look at the chart you see that we have three candles i'm talking about bullish now we have uh three candles of the same body size then with that very big red candle so when this particular pattern appears it does not mean that it's time for downtrend but the next thing you see after the red candle is bullish you just see the appearance of another green candle and the trend continues upside so also the bearish by the left hand side is just the opposite of the bullish when you see the trend to be bearish and you have the formation of a very big candle which is a bullish don't believe that it is time for uptrend but what it continues to it a current trend which is downward so this is the explanation of the two candles the next one we have there is rising three methods which is bullish by the right hand side and this pattern is formed with five candles beginning with a medium green bullish candle followed by three bearish candles of which the third of the bearish candle the three bearish candles the third one closes in the same base as the first bullish candle as you can see as the last sorry i mean that is the third one when you count by the left hand side the first uh, red candle second red third red that third red and the last candle which is uh, the green candle when you look at the bottom of the two they have the same close or the same level of base and also the first bullish candle i'm talking about the green the first green candle now from the bullish one that green candle also shares the same base or level with the uh, first bearish candle as you can see shares the same opening as the first green candle and the red that is that so this shows the inability that is the three bearish candles they show the inability of the buying pressure of the buyers so this pattern appears when the price is up and this signals the continuation of the uptrend i think the trend is going to continue that is the bullish uh bullish rising three method so also the one beside it which is by the left hand side the bearish that is also the opposite of the rising three method and this one is called falling three methods the difference between the rising and the falling is that this pattern signals continuation to the downtrend unlike the rising method now let's go to 
the next one the next one we have here now is three white soldiers we have three white soldiers here and that is the one at the bottom the three white soldiers reversal pattern it's usually formed using three green uh, candlesticks and this pattern uh, candles form an ascending order that is they are arranged step by step upward three white soldiers appear when the price is going down to signal its reversal uptrend there is usually a gap between the big bodied bearish candle and the first uh, candle of the three white soldiers as you can see from there we have the downtrend right from the left hand side of the three white soldiers then when it gets to the smaller uh, red candle J at the bottom we have the three white soldiers appearing as you can see in the box and they are of the same uh, body size when you see this on your forex trading chart it signals that it is time for uptrend so the seller's trend of power is terminated so the opposite of this is what is called three uh, black crows as you can see up there we have three black crows this is the opposite of the one so this is the mirror image of the previous three white soldiers and this particular pattern is bearish in nature this pattern forms with a gap up to the three black crows there is time for the traders to observe that what is going to happen through the gap between the green candle and the three black crows up there. The three black crows appear when the time is going up to signal the downtrend of the price. So you can see the gap up there for the three black crows. The three black rows in the brackets you can see that we have a gap between the three black rows and the red that is standing alone at the top so the essence of this gap here is to give uh, the traders the observation as to what is going to happen next before they place their order that is the essence of the gap that is uh, observed there so the next one is going to be which is the last one that is a advanced block this advanced block pattern has similar shape as the three stars in the south which i didn't discuss here and uh, but this particular pattern is bearish uh, reversal candle or pattern so this pattern has decreasing body size as the buyers are losing momentum it is also observed that these patterns can do have prominent steel or weak the tail to show the loss in the battle for the price similarly to the three white so uh, the three stars in the south the last more can do as for this pattern also form a ramming shape this pattern appears when the price is going to i mean to uh, when the price is going up to signal the reversal of the price downtrend so looking at the chart here we we'll see in the circle that we have uptrend right from there and when you get to the circled area the three candles there they are the one that is called advanced block and when this particular pattern appears on your chart as a trader it's signaling to you that the next move is going to be uh, down trend so when you look at the cross appearing after the circled area you see that the cross brings one tiny line across it which is reddish in a color it shows that even no matter uh or not minding the color the very one that appears at the last edge there which is green color 
is still going to turn red or bring about another candle which is a red so this particular pattern shows or signals downtrend in the price of the market or movement of the market so this is how far we can go today as pertaining candlestick pattern in forex trading we have many patterns or candlesticks in forex trading but just that i choose to explain the prominence and the, the most frequently used ones amongst professionals that is what i just did so um have a nice time wherever you are and don't forget to always keep safe because coronavirus is real and enjoy your time happy trading moments thank you